In our last segment, we head to Central High School with junior producer Lydia Biggs to learn about the Medical Professions Academy. When the EVSC administration pushed for all schools to add something special and unique to their facility, Central High School established the Medical Professionals Academy in 2011. Central already had a strong science program, a principal with a science background, was already teaching Project Lead the Way biomedical courses, and had done a study on the top 10 jobs in the nation, and medical careers were at the top. The Academy is for students interested in pursuing careers in healthcare and medicine, and is currently in its third year with no seniors. I am Caitlin Kaplinger with Bossy's EVSC Community Link, and joining me today is the MPA coordinator, Lana Powers. Thank you for meeting with me today, Ms. Powers. So what's your role here at Central High School? At Central High School, I'm a business teacher, but I also coordinate in the Medical Professions Academy, and I do teach at the ninth grade level the digital citizenship class for the ninth graders. So can you tell us what the Medical Professionals Academy is? The Medical Professions Academy is open to any ninth grader in Vanderburgh County or the surrounding counties who have an interest in sciences or health professions. And do the students need any requirements to be accepted into the program? The acceptance is through an application process and the student will get the application. They do write an essay. The counselors put their standardized testing scores. We get recommendations from English and science teachers and then we go through the applications here. Um, it is a half day program so they are still part of their home schools too. Around how many students are enrolled in the program? Currently we have 113 students in the program and that's 9th through 11th grade because we will implement 12th grade next year. So what kind of courses do the students take? Students will take courses uh, mainly in the sciences but we do integrate other classes and for instance the freshman year the students will take an English class, a principles of biomedical science, biology, digital citizenship which is one semester and then the second semester they'll take a health class. So with so many classes, do the students earn any college credits? There is ample opportunity to earn college credits within MPA. I think that we had counted approximately 39 if you took every possible advantage of that. I joined MPA because I had always been very well at science and I knew that I had wanted to go into the medical field. So the Medical Professions Academy seemed like a perfect fit for me. After I graduate from college, I hope to settle down and find a hospital that would need me and I want to be a neurosurgeon. It feels rewarding to know that I'm the first senior class of the MPA because since we were the guinea pigs of the new program, we had to face a lot of hardships and it's congratulating to know that we were the first people to get through it. IEPUI's Molecular Medicine in Action program is a program, it's a two-day program at IUPUI where students go and work with geneticists and we learn about uh, DNA and G DNA markers and just how genetics work and like the different tests they do to find diseases uh, related to genetics and uh, they take 50 kids out of Indiana and it's a fully paid for trip and it's very rewarding to have gotten into it since it's a more sophisticated program and it's hard to get into. How do the Academy's classes differ from normal EVSC core classes? The Academy classes are not standalone classes, so everything that we do within the year will be uh, revolving around the principal of biomed, for instance, in the ninth grade, so around the Project Lead the Way courses. Uh, an example might be in the ninth grade that if they're studying something in biology with cells and we will study a type of disease in principles of biomed, then they'll be in their English class learning how to do a research paper, but they will be researching using the things from the two science classes and then come to the digital citizenship class and we actually learn how to format those research papers. Um, I think I was brought into the MPA to teach because of uh, the unique experiences that I've had outside of teaching. Um, I started off after college working at Deaconess Hospital in sterile supply and surgery. And uh, after that I did uh, my master's in genetics at Southern Illinois University. And so I think I bring to the MPA a uh, unique perspective for the students. I'm able to um, describe to them what it's like to work in medicine and in biomedical fields and kind of give them that uh, opportunity to explore those different uh, fields. Um, definitely the MPA program uh, differs a lot from other uh, 
science subjects that I've taught in the past because uh, I think the MPA brings a uh, unique interaction between subject areas. Uh, there's, a, there's quite a bit of cross-curricular uh, collaboration. Uh, we bring in science, we bring in technology and, and English, and each subject area um, works together to um, all um, prepare students to become more successful in their years after high school. Well, is the Academy partnered with any hospitals, and if so, how does that work? We are partnered with some of the hospitals, so we partner with uh, St. Mary's, and we partner with Deaconess, and we also partner with Holiday Healthcare. And what they allow us is some job shadowing opportunities, tours, things that they are not going to let the average student go in and see on a tour. Uh, we get the opportunity to go more behind the scenes. Well, I think they need to learn the basic uh, scientific uh, aspects of uh, medicine in general, uh, leading into any t type of medical career. And I think they also need to get a broad uh, actual uh, education in other avenues, as far as the arts and sciences and, uh, and uh, various uh, historical aspects of education. I would recommend that uh, all students get a broad uh, experience through their life and not just be uh, coned in actually on scientific endeavors or any other endeavor but uh, get experience uh, across the board in various parts of uh, society and in various fields to make them broad individuals to better understand patients problems and how to approach those problems. How does the EVSC support the Academy? The Academy is supported like any other EVSC Academy and we get our funding for projects and equipment and tours through grants and through donations from our advisory board. What do you see in the future for the Academy? Well, we hope to grow the Academy in the future as more people become aware of the Academy. Um, we are hoping to maybe uh, isolate some area in the back of Central High School where we're housed that can be renovated so we have our own location within Central High School. Reporting from Central High School for Bossy's EVSC Community Link, I'm Caitlin Kaplinger.